I want to say thank you all so very much. We officially crossed 1,540 subscribers. Welcome to the One Pride family here on Detroit Lions Pride. Without you, there is no Detroit Lions Pride. Today's video is on the Detroit Lions power rankings and the NFL history made and broken over Sunday's game against the Minnesota Vikings, according to SI. And for those of you that know what time it is, cue that intro, it's showtime. I want to send a shout out to Tilo CTI for posting this in my comment section. SI said that the Detroit Lions scored touchdowns in the first 11 quarters, which leads the NFL to start a season. But all great things had come to an end in a pivotal game. But hang our hats on 11 out of 12 quarters, scoring a touchdown in each of the quarters. I'll take that, but time to do something even bigger which is let's win on Sunday against the Seattle Seahawks and let's start a win streak, something that Detroit hasn't seen in a few years. Welcome to Detroit Lions Pride. If this is your first time here, my name is Troxel. I am your host of today's video. And if you love all things Detroit Lions just as much as I do, we are on the road to 1,600 subscribers. Now let's get back into it. So the NFL power rankings came out today and NFL.com had us last week at number 16, and today they have us staying at number 16. And this is what Dan Hansis had to say. Dan Campbell owned it, facing a fourth in Vikings territory with a chance to ice a huge road win by securing one more first down. The Lions coach shifted away from his aggressive strategy and sent out the kicker. One miss and busted coverage later, and Minnesota had stolen a 28-24 win from Detroit. I regret that decision 100%, Campbell said. I really do. I hate it. I feel like I cost our team the victory. I really do, man. The strange thing, Campbell repeated, left his offense out on the, fi on the field in similar situations on Sunday, converting first downs on four out of six fourth down tries the coach got cold feet at the wrong time now around the league you know i gotta talk about my boy nate davis nate davis previously had us at 16 and today he still has us at 14 and nate davis did say look who's pacing in the nfc in scoring at 31.7 points a week Detroit has scored a touchdown in every quarter this season before failing to get the one that really needed in Sunday's fourth period at Minnesota now Monday morning quarterback previously had us at 12 they knocked us down to 15 the athletic previously had us at 14 today they have us at 15 Yahoo Sports previously had us at 21 now Yahoo Sports has us at 19. The Ringer, obviously, you know I have my, my heat with The Ringer. I'm going to say that every single week until they do us some justice. But they actually do us some justice. Previously, they are ranked 25 by The Ringer. And today, The Ringer has us moved up to number 21. Hey. I got to give credit where credit is due. Shout out Austin Guile. Now, Touchdown Wire previously had us at 20, and Touchdown Wire now has us at 24. ESPN previously had us at 20, and today they have us at 25. Now, I got a lot to say about ESPN, but I will link it in the description as well as the SI article about the touchdowns in every single quarter outside of fourth quarter on sun on sunday's game against the minnesota vikings i will post both of those links in the description but they were talking about qbr and anytime you bring up qbr as a opening statement on why you're going to move us back five spots you could take a hike because qbr is not a quarterback spot it's not a stat that is a team game and it's a team stat so why are you talking quarterback 
uh, ratings. QBR rank, 7th. Team QBR, 63.7. Okay, if you open up your argument, moving us back five spots, you could take a hike because anything out of your mouth at that point does not make sense to me. So, Eric Woodyard, please do some wood, some real journalism. Thank you. Now, Yahoo News, or I'm sorry, not Yahoo News, Sporting News previously had us at 21. Today, they have us moved back to 25. CBS Sports previously had us at 26, and they now have us back at 28. Pete Briscoe says they had no business losing that game to the Vikings. This is a team that has to learn how to close out games. Okay, I, I can get that, but why are you still not giving us respect? We're making NFL history. Like, we're doing great things. At least give us some credit. I mean, 26 to 28, and you can check all the film since I've been, since week one of what I've said about the power rankings. And every single time, I got to talk about Pete Frisco. So, CBS Sports also, please do some real journalism. I mean, give us credit where credit's due. If you're going to move us up last week because we won and we're going to be 26, then even in a loss, just keep us at the same. Like, 26 is super low. Like, come on. But to each they own. Thank you all so very much for watching this all the way through. If you have did all that fun stuff and you love the Detroit Lions just as much as I do, definitely do so. We are trying to hit 1,600 subscribers, so let me... No, also in the comment section below what your thoughts on the Detroit Lions power rankings for week four and the NFL touchdown record and would love to hear your thoughts and opinions on it. With that being said, I am your host Troxel. I'll see you in the next video. Have a wonderful rest of the day, everybody. Hashtag FNS, hashtag one pride, baby. Peace.